All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal in Ascend Tarot. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is going to be your pick a card reading. So we're going to take a look and see how does the person on your mind currently feel about you at this moment in time. If you guys want to book a personal reading, my information is, as always, down below in the description box. Or sorry, no, in the comment section, my bad. Okay. So we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. So just take a moment to see which one is calling you. Okay, I'm gonna start off with this pile. I'm just gonna move these over. Okay. All right, so pile one, let's take a look. How does this person feel about you? Overall energy is forgiveness. Okay, so this person is feeling potentially some sort of regret. Um, they're feeling like they want your forgiveness. They could also be trying to forgive themselves, but they're in this very, like, to me, this feels like the Page of Cups energy. Like, they want they want um, to clear the air with you. I'm getting guilt. Like, I'm getting guilt and regret. Let's see. Pile one. Sorry, you can hear my dog in the background. So we have the tower in reverse. I think this person is afraid to ask for your forgiveness. We have Temperance, Sagittarius, and the Nine of Wands in reverse. What do they want to say? I love how independent you are. And I got triggered. Yeah, the Tower is also my trigger card, actually. Um, this is why they want to ask for your forgiveness. Something triggered them and they did something. I don't know what, but they did something that they're now regretting because they were triggered. I just feel like this person is afraid of getting triggered again though. With the tower reverse, I just feel like this person, um, they may end up being too afraid to apologize even though they want to. Because with the nine of wands reverse, this is someone giving up. I've got, I'm visualizing someone here who's like, typing something out, wanting to apologize, and then going, no, I'm not going to do it. No, 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 no. Like freaking out and saying, no, I'm not going to do it. Because they're afraid that even if they apologize to you, that it actually, that in itself may be triggering to them in some capacity. We also have temperance. Why is temperance here? Pile one. Why is temperance here? Queen of Cups in reverse. I feel like it's taken so long for this person to find some sort of emotional balance since they were triggered by this connection. I don't know how long it's been. Maybe it's been a week, a month, a year. But just know that when it comes to getting triggered by you in this connection, it takes them a really long time to feel like themselves again. And I think they're worried that if they open up this connection again, even though they want to, they're worried that they're going to get back into that triggered state. They're seeing you in a very positive light. They love that you're very independent. So they see you as someone who can take care of yourself. They see you as like you don't need them in any way. Um, you're, you're, you don't seem to be the problem here at this point is what I'm getting. Clarify forgiveness. Eight of Pentacles, this person really does. They've been thinking a lot about how to fix this with you. Why do I feel like they're like afraid to do it though? Let's get another message. Our chemistry is too intense. So this is what I'm seeing like, okay, there's something about you, there's something about this connection that they know can throw them out of balance very quickly. They can get triggered very easily. But the problem with this is that not only do they get triggered really easily, but it takes them so long to balance themselves again after doing that. And the reason is because they feel like the chemistry between the two of you is too intense. What does this person wanna to say to you, Paolo? 
If you've been getting telepathic messages, I feel like this could be them intentionally doing this. They could be spiritual. They could know that you actually receive telepathic messages. The other thing could be that they're thinking about you so much that it's sending out telepathic messages. Yeah, see, all I want to do is talk to you. But that's what makes me feel like, okay, all I want to do is talk to you sounds like, but I'm not talking to you. Like, I want to. All I want to do is talk to you, but I'm not. That's what I feel like. I feel like this person is avoiding it, even though they really want to. I think they're honestly afraid of getting triggered again. Clarify this. I got triggered. Yeah, so when this person got triggered, their, their natural instinct was, I need to go back to my comfort zone. Whatever that comfort zone is. Probably, like, probably away from you in some way. So their reaction was, okay, I'm triggered. I feel out of balance. I don't feel like myself. This is throwing me off. This chemistry is too intense. There's too much emotion. Like, I feel like this person gets overwhelmed by emotion. And their reaction to that is to go into their comfort zone. But I think in, in doing this, this actually hurt you in some way. And now they want to seek your forgiveness. But I think they're almost afraid to leave their comfort zone, even though that's all that they want to do. I almost get that this person is kind of afraid of their own instability emotionally. For some of you, you may end up hearing for this, from this person. For others of you, this person may just give up on this. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for pile one. So I hope that resonated. Let's move on to pile two. Okay, the fool's gold, we'll take a look. If you guys wanna book your own personal reading, I do have the information for that in the comment section. Okay, but let's see, pile two, what's the overall energy? Compromise. Okay. We've got the card of desperate. Pile two, how did this person feel about pile two? Knight of Pentacles, Hierophant. So we have Taurus twice, Virgo and Capricorn. And we've got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so clear. Okay, so this person knows that if they don't bring some sort of balance into this connection, if they don't compromise with you in some regard, they will lose you. They already feel like they're losing a grip on this connection. They already feel like they need to bring balance. Like this makes me feel like maybe this person has been a little bit selfish. Maybe things have only been to accommodate their fears or their wants and desires in this connection. Maybe you've expressed something that you need, something that you want, and they haven't been willing to give it to you. And now they're feeling like, oh my gosh, if I don't give this to pile two, like I'm gonna lose this person. And what that thing is, is some form of commitment or some elevation of the connection. So even if it's not commitment, it's like at least like progressing the connection forward in some way, like taking it to the next level in some way. So say for instance, if you're already in a relationship, maybe it means moving in together. If you're not in a relationship, maybe it means getting in a relationship. If you are, maybe it's marriage. Like it's gonna be different for all of you. The problem is this person moves so slow and you guys already know that. We have the Knight of Pentacles here. This is also someone who's very practical. So they're, when, especially when it comes to relationship, they like to think it through. They like to take their time. Um, this to me doesn't feel like the type of person who's gonna rush into something. But they may end up rushing because they feel like if they don't make some sort of a decision that they're gonna lose you. Why is desperate here? I don't know if you gave them an ultimatum. For some of you guys, it feels like an ultimatum energy. Oh, that's why. Queen of Wands reverse. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The reason why this person is feeling like they're going to lose you is because they know that there's someone else that wants you. Now, I'm not saying you want this other person, but they know that there's someone else that is interested in you and they're feeling jealous, Queen of Wands reverse. I feel like their intuition is almost telling them this. Even if they don't have facts, their intuition is telling them there's someone else who's gonna pursue my person if I don't step up. 
What do they want to say? Ah. Okay, well, I guess we'll take both. We have I don't deserve you. You have to tell me what you want. Oh, look at that. I'm thinking about a proposal. Did I not just say some of you guys could be marriage? So for those of you who are potentially already with this person and you've wanted marriage and they've said, no, I'm not ready. No, 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 no. They're about at that point where they're like, I have to do this. <laughs> um, for others of you, again, this proposal doesn't have to be like an actual proposal. It could just be like moving things to the next level. But deep down, this person actually doesn't feel that they deserve you. I think that's also what's bringing up jealousy because this person feels like maybe there's someone out there that um, can treat you better, can compromise with you better. And then we have, you have to tell me what you want. Why is this here? I think this person is afraid that for a lot of you guys, there is actually someone else here that you may have that they know about. I feel like they kind of want to know, like, do you want me or do you want this other person? Even if they don't say that to you, that's what they're thinking. Even if you say to yourself, I don't even have someone else. They have it, like they're convinced in their mind that there's someone else. And they kind of want to, do you want me? Like they want to know, do you want me or do you want someone else? And it's bothering them. They might not actually say that to you though. We have everything I do, I do for our future. And my life has changed so much since meeting you. Yeah, this person really doesn't want to lose you. I don't know what they're gonna do. This is the thing, pal two. I don't know what this person is gonna do. Are they gonna step up because of this fear? Not sure, but this is how they're feeling right now. Okay, so I hope that resonated. Let's move on to pile three. Okay, if you guys chose this crystal, how does this person feel? We have a surrender. Oh, also too, if you guys wanna book a personal reading, my information as always will be in the comment section, okay? Okay, so surrender, pile two. I see myself having kids with you. We have inadequate. I'm gonna pull another one of these. We have inner child. Pile three, did I say pile two? I meant to say pile three, pile three. The fool, the seven of swords, and the world. Okay. Why is this confusing to read? Why does this feel like confusing energy? Why is surrender here? It's so funny because some piles are like so easy. Like the second I pull the cards, I'm like, oh, I got it. I know the storyline. Other piles are con like sometimes confusing. Like in the sense that it could go so many different ways. Um, this person has, has been hiding a lot from you, whether you realize it or not. Like they hide a lot from you. I hope it's not like anything too deceptive. It could just be that they don't reveal a lot of themselves to you. But this person is going through this point in their life where they feel like they need to let go of old ways, old habits, old like um, perspectives and actually close out a really important cycle in their life. And I think that it has to do with how they view themselves because it's affecting how they love. I feel like you're really actually um, motivating this person to overcome themselves, but specifically their inner child because this inner child wounding makes them feel like they're not enough for you. But they see this future with you because we have, I see myself having kids with you, especially even the Page of Pentacles can talk about children. So definitely this person has thought about children, wants to have kids. 
but they may recognize that um, they don't really want to bring a child into the world when they don't feel good about themselves. Like I feel like they don't want to project this unhealed stuff onto this child. I also feel like this person doesn't want to put you through anything because of their insecurities, especially if they're in this Seven of Swords energy, right? Like if they know that they are a bit of a liar or they're deceptive. Like they don't want to put you through this and they don't want to put their kids through this. So they feel like there's, this is really propelling them to let go of something and to close out a really important chapter in their life. Like an example could be like a player who finally decides he wants to settle down. This is kind of the energy that I'm getting. What do they want to say? Yeah, see, look at that. You make me want to try harder at relationships. Exactly what I'm saying. It's like you're motivating this person to change their ways, like to change how they view relationships entirely. And they know that in order to do this, they have to overcome themselves specifically, like their inner child wounding, their traumas, their core negative beliefs. But you are motivating this person because I feel like they, they see a future with you. They see themselves having kids with you. growing old with you. This is what they're used to. We have shallow connections. See, did I not just say this could potentially be like a player who's deciding that they want to settle down? They are used to shallow connections. They are used to um, not necessarily putting in the work, not being pure in their intentions, and they really want to close out this cycle. Now the question is, are they going to? I'm not sure. With the black tourmaline coming through here, I do think that they have a lot of negative energy that they have to transmute. However, the main message that's coming through is that you are the motivating factor for this person to change. Okay. So that is what I am seeing for pile number three. So I hope this resonated. If you guys want to book your own personal reading, the information is in the comment section. All right, but I'm sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all the best in your journeys. Take care.